Now, sports coverage in the panhandle spirit with Lee Baker. Hello, everyone. The final weekend of the high school football regular season begins tomorrow night. Emerald High hits the road for a game down 11 corn out of the Sandys already in the playoffs. But if they win tomorrow night, and then should Tascosa, who's also in the playoffs, beat San Angelo Central Friday, AHS would get a share of the district title. Lee, that's, that's it. We want to take, make, be sure that we take care of our responsibility in that scenario. And in order to do that, we're just carrying on with the weekly thing that we always have. We put the, the focus on the game at hand. It's a challenge sometimes when you know that you're in, uh, and I'd a lot rather be in that position than, than having to go down there and get a win to get in uh, to the deal. But that's huge. Uh, and we will, certainly want to get some momentum going into the playoffs. We have two similar type teams in, in, as far as schemes concerned. Uh, we're kind of seeing this in a two-week period where, uh, you know, San Angelo Central uh, will really prepare us both strategically, uh, you know, and from what they do and also just from a, maybe a momentum standpoint for a playoff game. By the way, Tascosa's game with Central is Friday. It's an early kickoff out of Dick Bivens Stadium, 4 o'clock. The nightcap features Caprock and Palo Dura, another edition of the Par Bowl. Hmm. We'll have more on that later in the week. Now let's talk some volleyball. For the fifth straight season, San Jacinto is headed to the Cap State Volleyball Tournament. Lady Patriots have won two titles in four years. This group of seniors looking for another. Uh, we struggled at the beginning, but we came together as a team. We have a um, great offense and great defense. We have hitters and setters and servers and everything. So it should be a good season, and um, it has been, and we should go all the way this year. So. Oh, um, it's awesome. We were definitely, um, nobody thought we could. So I think it's awesome to just show everyone that we can get back to state and even win it. So. We've had adjustments. We've had some ups and downs, but the girls have worked hard and, and pushed through that, and they're coming together and gelling and doing good. By the way, San Jacinto will meet the school they beat to win the title last year. That'll be in Friday's semifinals. Carrollton, Prince of Peace, match time 1 o'clock in San Antonio. Former Emerald High pitcher and current member of the Cleveland Indians minor league system, Clayton Cook is back home for the offseason. Now this weekend, weather permitting, he along with his brother Cameron, a coach over at Emerald Athlete, will hold a camp. It'll be a combination of uh, uh, fundamentals with uh, myself, Cameron, and Randy McMahon, uh, as well as an Under Armour 360 combine with Mark Cornell and, and Blue Baggett. Um, it's going to be, you know, it's fairly unique. I, it's, it's one of those things that I don't think has been done in Amarillo before, um, having a, you know, the, the 360 combine as well as a baseball camp included. So uh, it'll be a fun deal and uh, a lot of knowledge going around. Again, the youngsters will learn baseball basics, plus the Combine 360 is a global athletic measurement for performance. That sounds kind of interesting. The camp, again, youngsters 8 to 18. Give Amaro Athlete a call, 356-6900. Visit AmaroAthlete.com, what else, or Combine360.com. The fun takes place, again, at Rick Klein Complex out on South Grand. Finally, a couple of other baseball items. The Rangers released five players and had pitcher Darren O'Day claimed off waivers by Baltimore while the Cubs fired their manager, Mike Quade. They need a new one. They need pitching. They need hitting. <laughs> they need that camera. And hey. there it is. Hey. <laughs> you know about the Cubs, yeah, full well, don't you, for years and years you know, the of really study. The tragedy in all of this is they didn't hire Ryan Sandberg last year, and today there's a report that says Ryan Sandberg is going to interview for the St. Louis Cardinals job. Yeah, that is really insulting. They told him, it? don't come to Chicago, the new mm, guy. Mm, that's sad. That's not good. I feel for you. That's bad. Yeah. All right. The cup factor. <laughs> Weather after the break. We'll be right back. <laughs>